Hey, and good morning. Happy Monday, May 24th. I'm here in Connecticut right now, but when you see this, I will be back in Cambridge. Today, we're going to focus on color. It's going to be about a 40 minute yoga class. And that's it. Come get settled. Hi, Katie, Rachel, Brooke, Ginger, Kaya, everyone. Um, so happy to see you and get connected through this. Come back. Let's take a seat. So today I mentioned, as the sun comes out and washes me out, we're going to be talking about color a little bit, the fascination of, of the power of colors. So as you get settled into your seat, take a note of what colors you have on today. Taking a look, yes. What color is your mat? Try to notice all the different colors around you naming them to yourself. Then I want you to take a little snapshot of what's around you. Go ahead and close your eyes. Imagine a color wheel, starting off with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and the color wheel closes and goes back to red. I want you to breathe in red, orange, yellow. I want you to exhale out green, blue, and purple. Inhale red, orange, and yellow. Exhale out green, blue, and purple. Take another 20 seconds to do that on your own. Really picture the colors as you inhale. And the remaining colors as you exhale. Might be a little challenging to do it first. Try to soften the eyes on the next inhale. And soften the shoulders on the next exhale. Maybe the colors will come a little bit more naturally in a moment. But I'd like you to think about a concept of warm and cool colors. That red, orange, and yellow are warm colors. They're very energetic. Fire, sunlight, flowers that are very bright. And I want you to think of green, blue, purple, or violet as being cool colors. There's, of course, a blend between yellow and green and then violet and red. But we can imagine those halves having different complementary sides to them. The green, blue, and purple, cooler, calmer, Colors one's found in nature, too, as well. The green of the forest, blue of the ocean, and violet, I guess, of dusk, and other flowers, too. I'll come back to that concept in a little bit. But now, with that mental image in mind of your space, is it predominantly a warm space? Just meaning, or is there a lot of red, orange, and yellow? Or is it predominantly a cool space? Green, blue, purple. See if you were right on. Maybe you were. Maybe you actually didn't notice some of the other colors involved. We'll come back to this again as we progress through our class. Come to tabletop position, taking a deep breath in, knees underneath your hips, exhale, curl the toes downward facing dog. We're going to spend a little bit of time on the belly for the time being. Take a deep breath in, high plank, exhale, knees, chin, chest. I want you to slide forward into Sphinx pose and lay your right cheek down, crossing your arms and exhaling up. Bring your hands by your ears. Keep the toes planted into the floor and lift up, rising the chest. 
Good. And exhaling all the way back down. Inhale again. Lifting hands by the ears. Push the toes into the floor. Exhale, right cheek. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Bring your hands by your sides. Simply press the fingers in, right cheek to the floor. And go ahead and lift up just the feet. And exhale down. Repeat that four more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands underneath you. Slowly rise up full cobra. Child's pose. Hips to heels. Exhale. Tabletop position. Deep breath in. Push the hips down. Full cobra. Child's pose. Hips to heels. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Looking forward and up. And exhale. Child's pose. Here in child's pose, take a moment to notice what color, warm or cool, child's pose brings to you. Come into tabletop position. Bring yourself back into cobra stretch. Take a deep breath in and see if that color changes. Take a deep breath out. Curl the toes. Inhale. And press the heels down. Exhale. Lift the right leg high to the sky. Deep breath in. Bend the right leg back. Exhale. Right leg high to the sky, deep breath in. Thread the leg through, ground the back heel, warrior one, come on up. Stay here with me, exhale, hold. Deep breath in, exhale, finding the color of this pose. It sounds a little cheesy, doesn't it? But finding maybe, is it violet? Does that sound right? A little bit playful as you open up into warrior two. See if that changes the color. If it changes it in, in the sense that it's a little bit cooler, a little bit more open. Now bring your chest back. Squeeze belly in. Look forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Very strong legs. Come into star pose. Inhale. Good. Heels in. Exhale, horse. As we go through this practice, see if you can sort of find whether this feels very warm and energetic, whether this feels cooler and calmer, okay? I won't keep reminding you. Take this deep breath in. Sink down deeper, exhale. Nice big star pose, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Open the right arm up and overhead. Fan the hands down, exhale, step back, right leg back. Inhale, high plank. Belly to the ground. Stay here with me. Hands by the ears. Lift. Deep breath in. Exhale. Hands down. Curl the toes. Downward facing dog. Left leg high to the sky. Inhale. Exhale back. Left leg high. Exhale. Thread through. Ground the back heel. Warrior one. Inhale. Stay here with me. Hold and breathe for three. Look up to the hands. Squeeze the arms, lengthen the fingers forward and up. Exhale, two. One more big breath in. Warrior two, exhale, open. Different side, finding your balance. Look over your left hand, deep breath in. Exhale. Exhale down. If you can, reverse warrior if it's not too early. Deep breath in, open the chest, heart and arms. Squeeze the belly in, sink yourself down, deeper exhale. If you feel confident, close the eyes, lift the heels, hold here for three. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. Lower the hips down, inhale. Star pose, exhale, warrior two. Lift the left hand up and over, reverse warrior, inhale. Pinwheel the hands down, frame the front foot, step back. Exhale all the way down, belly to the ground, hands by the ears, inhale, lift. Exhale, hands down, curl the toes, downward facing dog. Bring your knees down to the ground. Getting ready for a baby camel pose. Hands on the hips. Bring them all the way back, squeeze the elbows, squeeze the hips, and simply look up. 
If you feel warmer, you can go further. Inhale, puff the chest. Exhale, slowly fold yourself down. Forearms to the floor. Inhale, the hips high. Into dolphin pose. Exhale, push. Good. Inhale, the right leg high. Ooh, stay here. Exhale if you slid forward like that. Exhale, bend the right leg. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, place it down. Knees down. Come up into tabletop position again. Slide the right leg forward, left leg back, gate pose, right hand down, and left hand up and overhead. Look up to the left hand, deep breath in. Breathing into the side body here for two. Very bright where I am, so I'm closing my eyes, but there's no need for you to unless it feels good too. Exhale, the left hand down, back into dolphin pose. Elbows down, forearms down. Inhale, the hips high. Exhale, walk the feet a little closer. Spread the right toes, lift the left leg, inhale. Bend the left leg back, exhale. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, place it down, knees down. Inhale up to tabletop position. Prepare for gate, gate pose, exhale. Left hand forward, left leg straight back. Inhale, open. Exhale, really big side body stretch. Open the ribs. Looking up to the hand, inhale. Exhale here. One more deep breath in. And exhale down. We go into dolphin pose again, preparing for maybe Pinchamadiasana. If you're going to fall on over, just take your time. Don't be... Um, don't beat yourself up for this. Take a deep breath in. Hands are forward. They're parallel as best as you can, like a number 11. Right leg bends, left leg up. And you can slowly kick yourself up. Here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring yourself back down. Exhale, child's pose. I'm going to give you this color now. Finding the deep blue in this child's pose. A blue that reminds you of the ocean. Tabletop position. Inhale your way back up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look up to the hands. Bend the knees. Jump forward between the thumbs. Inhale, head up. Forward fold, exhale. Picture a yellow as you lift yourself all the way up. Inhale. Slight back bend, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hands by your side, samasatihi. Good. Coming to standing at the top of the mat. Deep breath in, hands high to the sky. Urdhva hastasana, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, bend the knees. Inhale, utkatasana. Bring the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Deep breath in. Puff the chest. Lengthen the neck. Draw the shoulder blades down. Exhale. We're going to come into eagle pose. Inhale, right hand. Underneath the left hand and lift up. Press the elbows to the knees. Inhale. Lengthen the chest. Stay here for three. Two. One. Slowly unravel arms and legs. Inhale, come to stand. Exhale, place it down. Good. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana up to the sky. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose. Inhale, hands high. Hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Exhale. We're going to come again. Eagle pose on the other side. Open the arms out. Left leg forward and up and over. Hooking the toe behind the calf. Inhale, left hand underneath the right, exhale, elbows knock into each other, inhale the elbows up, and then slowly exhale the elbows down towards the knee, here for three, lengthen the spine, pushing the belly down towards the thigh and the hips back, draw the shoulder blades down, two, and one, unravel slowly and carefully, inhale up. Exhale all the way down. 
Inhale, hands high, Urdhva Stasana. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Go ahead and jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Knees all the way down, fabulous. Inhale the right arm forward. Exhale, thread the needle underneath. Walk the left hand back, deep breath in. Exhale here, three. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, one. Walk your left hand back. Inhale, we come into a high plank position. Deep breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Do your best, push yourself up, inhale. Knees down, exhale. Left hand high, to um, forward, inhale. Thread the needle, exhale, other side. Here for three, walk your right hand back behind your left, uh, behind your head towards the left side. Two. Deep belly breath. Good, one. Inhale your right hand down, left hand underneath. Come into a high plank position to Chaturanga Dandasanas if you can, push-ups. Inhale, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. One more, inhale up, knees down, very nice. Come down all the way. Right cheek to the mat, bend your knees, windshield wiper, the hips and the lower back. Reach. Inhale, lift and reach back for your ankles. If you can catch, go ahead and catch. Danurasana. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring your feet together. If you can, you're going to slowly start to squeeze the knees together too. I find this tremendously difficult, but over time, getting closer and closer. Inhale. Go ahead and release left cheek to the mat. Exhale. Inhale the hands underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and curl the toes. Push to downward facing dog. Going into headstand pose. Bring the knees down. Exhale. Bring the elbows and forearms down. Interlace your fingers. Create a net. If headstand is not in your practice today, go ahead and do either another dolphin pose or a pose of your choice. Tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe your feet all the way up. Slowly and carefully bring your way up to the sky. Deep breath in. Here we are for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly make your way back down and exhale, knees down, hips down. A lot of people are very intimidated by inversions. Might be worth spending a class on those. Biggest thing to know is to take your time, do your best during each. You saw earlier, I just was kicking up my leg, getting closer and closer. Come up into our nice cobra stretch. Deep breath in. Back and go all the way if that feels okay to you. Left leg is straight, right leg is bent. Inhale. Exhale. An orange, inhale, exhale, blue. Inhale, orange, right hand down, exhale. Right leg high, right knee in between the thumbs, exhale into our pigeon pose. Inhale, slowly lower yourself down, exhale, yes. Here for three. Finding the color of pigeon pose. Two. One. Pigeon pose often brings to me a deep violet, a deep sense of being able to rest to sleep. Very nice. If you can, bending that left leg back, go ahead and catch. Poke the elbow up to the sky, inhale. Look back, exhale, look forward, inhale. Stay here, look up. Good, curl the toes. Three-legged dog, right leg high to the sky. Thread the leg through, exhale. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Straighten the front right leg, inhale. 
Bring the hands behind the back. Puff the chest. Humble warrior. Inhale. Exhale all the way down. The crown of the head touching the mat or reaching, reaching, reaching to one. Release the hands down. Inhale, nice easy twist. Right hand up high. Exhale, right hand down. Left knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Stay here. Slowly deepen. Exhale here for three. Exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, one. If you want to, you can go ahead and slide all the way into Hanumanasana from here, sliding the right leg forward. If you feel like we have not done enough, that's okay. Stay in half split. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, you're either in half split or Hanumanasana. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, one. Plant the hands in front of you and sweep the right leg all the way around. Inhale, tabletop position. Good. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bend the left leg back and open into rock star pose. Straighten out the right leg. Keep the left leg bent. Look back. Inhale. Push the hips. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. One, left hand all the way down, left leg high to the sky. Good, exhale, place it all the way in between the knee, sorry, knee in between the thumbs for pigeon pose. Inhale, sleeping pigeon here, laying ourselves down. Exhale here for three. Two, deepening your hips down to the floor. Pressing the chest down to the thigh. One. Inhale. Hands underneath your shoulders. Bend the right knee if you did so before. And if you can catch it as well, go ahead and do so. Inhale. Poke the elbow up. Exhale. Look back. Inhale. Look forward. Exhale. Straighten yourself out. Look up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Release slowly. Plant the hands down, left leg high to the sky. Inhale, thread the leg through, exhale. Good, ground the back heel, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the front left leg, hands behind your back. Inhale, puff the chest. Exhale, humble warrior, fold forward. We're almost coming to the end, so if you're finding yourself restless, take the extra chance to shake that out to really bring the crown of the head down to the floor and to let any of the pestering thoughts just roll off the back. All the way down. Good. Inhale, easy twist, left hand high. Exhale, place that down. Right knee down, inhale, Anjaneyasana. Up here for three. Wiggle the arms back, gently push deeper into the pose, two. Exhale, one. Hands all the way down. Excellent. Half split. I'll stay with you here for three. And now I'm going to go into Hanumanasana. If you wish to follow, go ahead and do so. Here's the real three. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. Plant the hands in front of your hips. Slowly sweep the left leg all the way around. Come to parallel pose. Open the legs out, sorry, open the knees out and sink your hips down, elbows down as well. Exhale. Plant the hands down, take a deep breath in. Go ahead and wide split. Open, legs out to the sides. Inhale, elbows down. Exhale here, five. Deepen, heart to floor, four. The legs slowly slide more and more, three. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. Hands all the way down. 
Walk yourself all the way into a wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale, fold. Star pose, slight bend in the knees. Inhale your way up to the sky, deep breath in. Exhale, jump yourself together and breathe out. We are going to do a couple of our balance poses and then finish off coming down to the floor to the mat. Perfect timing because the sun has just come out. Tree pose will be first. First position, second position, or third position all the way up. Take that deep breath in. Prayer, exhale. Spread the toes out. Open the knee. Inhale, open. The obvious green. The obvious energy. And the right hand lowers and we send ourselves off to the side slowly and carefully here for three, two, one. Inhale your way up. Bend your knee into your chest. Exhale, we go into dancer pose. Grab onto that right leg. Inhale, left hand high. Exhale, send yourself down. Three, two, one. Now I have a bonus one here, and this is for, for friends who can do this. We're going to send our right leg forward, and we have the option for a pistol squat. Inhale, open. Exhale, send it down. Woo! Plant the hands down. If you need to use them for assistance, come on up. Use them for assistance. If you can, you're pushing and releasing. Excellent. Threw that in there for you. Tree pose on the other side. Deep breath in. Heart rate coming up. Exhale. Finding your position and your power and your power. Good. Inhale, hands high. Remember, our green is in our cool spectrum, this calming sensation, even if the brightness on trees makes you feel very. Like it should be a warm color. The dominant green, a calming, cooler color, sort of recedes in the background. And yet the intensity can be very, very bright. The lime green, hints of yellow. Inhale your way back up, waxing poetic about colors. Bring your knee in. Exhale. Grab onto your left leg. Inhale. And exhale, bend yourself forward. Big arm and back day, if you can tell. Hips as well. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your knee into your chest. We go for one more pistol squat. Inhale, lengthen if you can. If you can't, you stay up. Good. Pedal it out. Coming into the middle of your mat. Chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, prayer. Good. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, hips down. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift. Stay here and breathe. I'm going to give you a crazy option today, which will be to do our, you'll see. <laughs> we'll see if we do it. Go ahead and come back into Bakasana. And before you, before you do, just plant your hands down. Watch me here. I'm going to go in forward for bakasana and then i'm going to lower my head down and then keep my feet up and then slowly lift one leg high all right that's my crazy pose today if you'd like to throw in a lot at you you can just come into bakasana now here we go bakasana inhale lengthen forward exhale crown of the head down inhale right leg up Stay here and breathe. Exhale. Push into the deep into the palms. Exhale. Bring it back. Come return. Hoo, 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 hoo. One more time. Option. If you did bakasana and just bakasana, do kakasana. Knees outside of the elbows. If you did that, we're going to go into the left leg this time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Left leg up. Exhale. Inhale. 
<sighs> and exhale, good. Step yourself back, belly to the ground, hands by your ears. Lift, inhale, and exhale, left cheek to the floor. Inhale, lift, hands by your ears. Exhale, right cheek to the floor. Inhale, lift, hands by your sides, child's pose, hips back and down. Very nice work. Tabletop position. When we do such energetic poses, we come down. Crossing your ankles, come back to a seated pose. Now we begin to lengthen ourselves on the floor. Take a deep breath in and lengthen your back all the way down on the mat. Hands by your sides, hips high to the sky. Walk your shoulder blades together. Exhale, interlace the fingers if you can. Three, inhale, lift. Exhale, two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, one. Inhale, the arms away, shoulders away. Exhale, hips down. Good. Straighten out the legs, deep breath in. Exhale, legs lower down together, holding here. Lift the shoulders off the mat. Inhale, three, two, one. Good. Lengthen your back down on the floor. Feet back down on the mat. Option for Urdhva Danurasana, wheel pose. Hands behind you or upwards wheel. Or option for another bridge pose. Inhale. Exhale, push. Very warm from today. If you can do this, you're going to lengthen one leg high to the sky here for three, two, one. You'll slowly lower that down. Other side here for three, two, one. Exhale, chin to chest and bring yourself down. And roll your sides back and back and back. Lengthen, legs high to the sky, shoulder stand, exhale, push. Inhale, exhale, flex the feet. Lower, lower, lower. Having so much fun here. I'm sure we're at 40 minutes now. Straighten out the uh, knees. Look to the feet, to the knees, grab onto the toes, lift the hips, control, three, Two, one, slowly lower the hips away from the face, the elbows forward towards the hips, and push the crown of the head down to the floor. 45 degrees with the hands and the legs here for three, two, one. Lower the feet down, lower the elbows down, push. Lift the chest, head, and neck. Exhale, release. Happy pose, knees in. Nice and close, elbows uh, inside of the knees, hands grab to the outer edges of the feet and roll side to side here. Three, two, one, totally getting washed out. I know, take that deep breath in, lengthen out the legs and finding a sense of peace as we start to bring our way all the way to our Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees open like a book, hands and elbows out. Good. As you come to a stillness, you're still energetic. I'd like you to envision our color wheel that we started with. Every time you exhale, you give it a spin in your mind's eye. Inhale. Exhale, long spin, 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 spin. Lands on the color, yellow. We inhale that yellow color. As we exhale, we spin it again. And it spins slowly, slowly, slowly and lands on green, 
We inhale that green. And we spin as we exhale, 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 spin. One more time, inhale, we find that color to be blue. And we give that wheel a spin, exhale, 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 exhale. Bring your knees together and slide yourself slowly and carefully for Shavasana. If you wish to meditate in um, a seated pose, that's fine too or continue in Supta Baddha Kanasana, either one. Finding two minutes of peace here. I'd like to offer again, one of my favorite meditations of finding actually our complementary colors. Many people love blue. What's so striking about blue is its depth, its warmth, its calming. And across the color wheel from it is yellow, energizing the sun, finding this bright and brilliant quality to it. We can breathe in our yellow. And at the top of the breath, let it transform into blue and let ourselves exhale blue. The bottom of the breath, it transforms again into yellow. We inhale the sun, the yellow space, and we exhale, it transforms into blue, blue, blue. Try to yet let the yellow become a burst. We breathe in deeply, deeply, deeply. And we exhale the blue slowly, 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 slowly. Let the yellow be a burst. Inhale. And let the blue be something that gets deeper. Deeper and deeper. Inhale, yellow. Exhale. Surrender all of tension into the floor. Soften the eyes. Soften the hands. Soften the feet. A little bit of breeze, finding slight tingling on the surface of the body and a sinking heaviness on the base of the body. Go ahead and wiggle the fingers and the toes on your next inhale. Circle the ankles on the wrists and the wrists. On your next exhale, bend the knees up to the sky and the arms up and overhead. Inhale. Rock yourself to your left side. Stay here for three, two, one. Press gently onto the right hand. Press onto the left. Come to a seated pose to finish. Close the eyes and relax the shoulders down. Together, we'll breathe in two more times, our yellow and our blue, and we'll finish off. Bring the hands to heart center, exhale to prepare. Inhale, yellow, gold, brightness. Exhale, blue, calm, depth. Inhale, yellow, gold, brightness. Exhale, blue, calm, depth. 
Thank you so much for joining me today for this very natural and gorgeous yoga. I hope you found some adventure as well as some calm. And I will see you later this week. Much love. Namaste.